recreational games. The recreational games is an activity involving one or several participants. Its role is to provide satisfaction and entertainment to players. However, games can also play an educational role, helping mental and physical stimulation and contribute to the development of practical and psychological skills. In general, the games involves a certain level of competence. Regarding the recreational games, the competitive value is minimized. Find out who is the winner has no importance. The key is to be playful side of the activity. On that said, the games do not take account of productivity and should never be mandatory for participants. As a purely recreational activity, the games want to be quite deliberately in a relaxed and enthusiastic atmosphere. The goal here is to bring satisfaction to the players. So relax. Thus get rid of the daily tension states. In recreational games, should not expect a score. The aim being rather to participate not only for fun. Recreational games can take place also in open air or in spaces that close in non fence spells or delimited areas. Each game can be designated defending on the objective of which player want to be achieved or according to the set of rules that determine what they can do in the context of entertainment. Values of recreational games includes physical aspect, emotional aspect, mental aspect, moral aspect. Physical aspect in the sense that the fitness components visible to anyone who engage in the physical activities. Emotional aspect. It is developed because the individual is able to release the controlled feelings in very relaxing manner. Mental aspect. Is challenged by analyzing the rules and manners of the game and it is being played. Moral aspect. Guiding principles involved which serves as the basis of action. Example of recreational games Patintero Luksong Tinik Luksong Baka Chinese Garter and Pico Patintero This game is made up of two groups of equal players the blockers and the runners The game is very simple the blocker must try their best to tag the runners without going over the lines, they are tasked to guard. Loksong Tinik This game wherein players are divided into two groups. The Taya are the two players who sit on the ground facing each other. The Taya stack their hand and feet on the top of each other, forming Tinik while players form the opposing team attempt to jump over them without touching the hurdle. Loksong Baka. It is almost similar to Loksong Tinik, but instead of the Taya sitting on the ground, one of them coaches or bend over like a cow. The players from the opposing team must jump part of their body. Chinese Garter. Players of Chinese Garter are also divided into two teams or more. The Taya are the two players who serve as post hold up the Garter by looping it ground their ankles for the other team players to jump over. Pico is the Philippine variation of the game Hopscotch. The players stand behind the edge of the box and it should throw their cue ball. The first to play is determined defending on the player's agreement. Roniel Duarte, BSBFM2C. That would be all. Thank you.